Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Flashing Lights. So far, we have played as a police officer, a firefighter, and now it's time to play as the medic. And this is actually the role I have the least amount of time in in the game. Um, largely because uh, for the longest time, the medic used to be kind of the most underappreciated role in the game. And uh, specifically, there wasn't a whole lot, you know, lot of variety and stuff to do as the medic. It was very repetitive. And I played as the medic a little bit earlier today here. And I have to say that it is, it's a lot more interesting, there's a lot more variety to the missions, but still is a little repetitive. So um, I think we're gonna start, uh, let's see here, we'll start here. So this should be the hospital right here, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, we'll start right here and we'll just take the default there. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so here we are. And uh, I have to say, first of all, let's get rid of uh, the uh, key help there. That's uh, not really needed for me. I got the keys down. <laughs> all right, so let's head on over to my vehicle here. Up the computer. All right, what do we have here? Allergic reaction. We'll take it. All right. Oh, and this doesn't have the uh, altered sirens. Okay. Um, technically, I think I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Let's take a look at the map. Okay, it's off over there. Wait, where is it? Oh, wow, we're going all the way to Cod Town. Okay, so we've almost arrived on scene here. Um, and I have to say, uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny because I never really thought about it. But uh, it says how, uh, yeah, 39 uh, hospitalized. That's actually a good thing in this, so, you know. Alright, let's get out here. We're going to, if I'm not mistaken, if we take the, um... Oh, that's not what I want. What I want to do is, uh, medic... If I take the stretcher, it has everything on it. Um, if I'm not mistaken. Minus a couple items that I'm gonna need. Oh, good grief. How, how, how does, how are we gonna make this work? Well, I know we're going to need a Halligan to get in, uh, because nobody, you know, who's having a medical emergency, apparently, uh, there's never anyone available to open the door. Uh, but if I'm not mistaken, what we can do is we can take the, yeah, we can take a medic bag like this. Uh, this may not have been the call to do this with. Alright, so, um, first thing we gotta do is we gotta inspect the patient, so, you know, if you watched my firefighting video, uh, did this a few times. Okay, good. Now we got to uh, administer um, a shot here, pretty much. Specifically, it's going to be an antihistamine. So that's going to be under medications. And it's the one right here. Okay. Forgot about this. Yeah, this game is basically just an excuse to uh, remove all of our patients' clothes, apparently. Oh my. Yeah. Uh, so here's the problem. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the gurney in here, or they call it a stretcher in this case. Uh, so we're just going to do that. <laughs> That's right, folks. We got ourselves a little bit of a cheat there for that. And uh, if I... Alright, that works. <laughs> And now it's just a fun game of trying to get this thing to work nicely. Oh, no. There we go. Alright, let's get this guy to the hospital. Okay, so now that we're here at the hospital, uh, we're just going to uh, have to take him in there. Okay, doors could open a little bit quicker than that. There we go. Drop him off. And now my favorite part about uh, this. We moonwalk backwards. Yep, that's right. Just just, just moonwalk out of here. 
All right, so we got a patient uh, complaining about chest pains. Yeah, we'll take that. All right, so uh, we are almost arrived on scene here. Somebody keeps setting off car alarms around here. Um. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> That's one way to do it. And again, because uh, that door is not going to be unlocked. Uh, we're going to have to... <laughs> oh! Well, you know, uh, saying it's not unlocked is a good way of getting the door unlocked. Oh, I'm starting to wonder, do I have the right address? Someone tells me that was the wrong address. I think it's this one. Yeah, okay, here's the patient. And they're waiting outside for us. Excellent. Uh, I had the wrong address. <laughs> um, that explains so much. <laughs> Alright, so let's go uh, assist this person. I should have brought the gurney. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if it's a wise idea to plant a tree right in front of the ear you know, porch and stuff, but. All right, pulse found, good to see. They're breathing unconscious, good to see. I, I, I'm glad we had to get the medic bag to notice that this person is conscious, breathing. All right, um, apparently we're gonna give, uh, well, I didn't quite expect that, but, um... Alright, sure. I love that they do... Okay, well, the animation could have been a bit better with the, uh... Okay, apparently now we're going to be given a, um... A nitroglycerin... Uh, glis bleh, a nitroglycerin. I, I don't know why I had a hard time saying that. All right, let's get this person to the hospital. Oh. Yes, that's right. The immovable uh, trash cans. Let me tell you, I've managed to make those move a few times. Okay, what is this? what I'm dealing with here. Hooray! We're free! And we didn't take out the sign. They really need to work on the AI traffic here. Okay, we have a safely arrived. Uh, that's always an important step, I'd say. Alright, let's get the uh, person out there. And let's wheel them in. All right, that's uh, never time to moonwalk out. Okay, so we got a call here for respiratory failure. Uh, this time it's in the suburbs west, so we get a little bit of a change of scenery here. Not much, mind you, but... Uh, we'll turn off the siren since we're going down a residential street here. Nice one. <laughs> Move to the right. Um, it looks like it's this residence here. Find the person. Doesn't look like uh, 
They're in the bathroom. Kitchen looks clear. Oh, they have this house has a basement? Well, this is new to me. Must be upstairs. Oh, there we go. Okay, how how did this call even come in? Okay, according to this, we're just going to apply an oxygen mask here. I can't tell if that guy's got a groovy shirt on or if it's just the lights. Okay, hopefully another satisfied customer who's uh, gonna give us a uh, five star. Oh wait, no, I'm doing my day job. Um, yeah, got another person here to uh, the city hospital. Now here's a man who's uh, trying to get out of the way. I appreciate your effort. Uh, <laughs> we're currently on our way to a diabetic emergency. It's uh, kind of over by the uh, bus area here in the city, so uh, it's nice to not have to go all the way to the suburbs for once. So yeah, real, real close by. I assume that's the patient. Don't need the defibrillator yet. Alright, we're gonna inspect the patient here. Alright, so uh, we're gonna have to do a glucose test. Alright, this is cool. I mean, uh, yeah, this is this is pretty cool. I mean, as I said, there's a lot of neat stuff that they've added here with uh, the medic role. It's, it's made it a lot less repetitive feeling, even though you've still got the same basics of, well, respond to emergency, figure out what's wrong with patient, and why does it keep doing that? There we go. Uh, transport patient to hospital. As I said, not far away. Not far away. Okay. Let's get you in there. I guess we'll moonwalk him in. Yes, walking with the stretcher is always so weird in this game. <laughs> Now's a good time to really cover uh, one of the interesting things that I haven't really talked about yet that has uh, come about with the update. And they're still working on this as I understand it. But if you hit the escape uh, uh, it's key here and you go to the menu and stuff, you can, uh, it's, they've got some you know help commands and stuff, um, multiplayer commands. Those are all new. Um, so you can click on that and you can use it to, you know, basically manage uh, uh, its players regarding multi uh, pay, bleh, commands and stuff and manage players with multiplayer and stuff but uh, help commands uh, you can reset the vehicle in front of your character and teleport the character to the start point um, but the really cool thing is tutorials and this is great for anyone who's new they've got free tutorials here for the police the firefighter and the medic um, what I find really interesting is that the very this part here um, this will tell you about the different tools that are at your disposal, or at least a little bit there. Um, some are, some have a little bit more helpful uh, explanation behind them. Uh, some are pretty straightforward. Okay, so we are responding to a nearby motor vehicle collision. Um, so you, you've seen me deal with this as a uh, firefighter. Now we're going to be dealing with it as... Um, as a ambulance here, as a medic. Um, so as usual, 
what this time what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take advantage of the nice little trick where we can get the stretcher out and uh, we're gonna take the stretcher uh, to the scene because it's gonna have pretty much all of our equipment already on it uh, unfortunately uh, this person here is likely the person who needs help the most at the moment so uh, let's take a look at them uh, the other person it's usually a neck injury I mean it's in real life we couldn't assume this but uh, in this game, it's a safe assumption that this person is going to be, yeah, not breathing, no pulse, unconscious. Um, unfortunately, we're still going to have to check all of the other things here, although there's a good reason for that. Um, if there was a really bad wound and stuff suggesting bleed out, you, you know, there's some things that you wouldn't want to do. Alright, so we're going to perform CPR here. Um... I don't know how other people would feel about it, but I feel like it would be kind of neat if there was like a mini game where you had to, uh, you know, tap a key or something. Um, okay, it's not giving us any further um, instructions on what to do with this guy here. Um, okay, there we go. Yeah, I was gonna say. So uh, we gotta take the we gotta take his clothes off here. Uh, so that we can attach uh, the ECG leads. Okay, so we're gonna attach the leads and this is pretty much the same as what there was before the update, but Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to shock him um, Clear Oh, yeah, we didn't set the defibrillator pads that that's kind of important uh, So let's attach the shock pads here um All right, clear. All right, and apparently now we got to perform CPR again. Well, let me know how that works since you're driving the wrong way. Ah, yes, there we go. Yes, get yourself turned around. All right, uh, let's take a look over here. Um. Okay, okay, so um, that one bugged out and stuff, but fortunately there was another one that was available So we're gonna try this one Only though this time I think we're gonna try inspecting the uh, We're gonna uh, it's tend to the first uh, Person assuming they're not both outside the vehicle. So we're gonna take the stretcher again Just so we have all of our equipment on hand um, And we're gonna head out and we're gonna take a look at uh, are both of them inside? Okay, that person's outside the vehicle. Alright, so they're both outside the vehicle, so, um, maybe this one won't bug out. Uh, we'll just... Um, at this point, I guess it really doesn't matter. We'll just start with this person, and then we'll go to the other person, because then they're closer to that. So, um, we're gonna inspect the patient here. Alright, so we're gonna have to, uh, perform CPR here. Which apparently means going all the way to the other side of the medic bag. Oh boy, okay. Once again, we're gonna need the defibrillator. We're going to uh, need to remove his shirt. And we're gonna have to attach the leads here. Two and three. All right, we're gonna have to attach the shock pads. All right, everyone stand back. All right, we're gonna request transport. And we're gonna go tend to the other driver now. Not breathing, no pulse, unconscious. Okay, so it looks like the uh, same situation here. We're gonna take the stretcher here. We're gonna pick her up. Okay, so this one we completed without any uh, bugging happening. Happening. No bugs. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look at the medic. Uh, we'll be taking a much closer look, uh, I think, in more videos uh, to come about some of the stuff that's in uh, Flashing Lights uh, 1.0 state. 
Um, I, I really am enjoying uh, doing these videos, but I think we're going to be doing a lot more of the police here. And hopefully we'll be able to take a much more deeper look at some of the new content and stuff. But uh, part of the problem is, is that, you know, when it comes to the updates for this game, uh, they've been released uh, gradually over time. So really, the move to the 1.0 update is more symbolic than in terms of look at all the content that has been added. It's not so much that they've added a lot of content in the 1.0 update, so much as um, there's just been so much content that now the game is in a state where, yes, it should be called 1.0. And, um, you know, so it, it really, there's just so much that has been done. I remember when this game was first released, or I shouldn't say first released, the first time I heard about the game, uh, the, it was much more bare bones. It was long before they did the map updates and stuff. And um, it's come so far over the years and it's great to see that the game is now in a quote release state and that they still have so much more planned so I'm gonna enjoy uh, playing more of this game and seeing all the new content and I hope you decide to join me with that so uh, next week I guess I'll be playing as the police officer and if I can get a hold of a friend of mine and uh, stuff maybe maybe that friend would be willing to uh, join me as uh and we can do have some more fun as uh firefighters because that really is one where it, uh it really feels like you should have uh two players when you're doing the firefighter and stuff especially when it comes to one of those big building fires um or even have you know even better you get for a couple people in here so someone's going to be playing as a police officer uh another person's going to be playing as the uh fire department then you can call in for uh, you know your friends to come in and uh, okay yeah we're going to need a medic on scene so um, I'll have to see if I can uh, get somebody who's uh, willing to join me here um, I know someone but uh, I'm not sure if they have the time anyways thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this episode and are looking forward to what's to come if you have enjoyed this episode considering that like button uh, and letting others know this is a great video and you know you should check it out as well also, uh, consider hitting that subscribe button. You know, it means a lot to me. And um, I'm very thankful for all of my subscribers who have uh, taken the plunge to click that button. Have a great day, everyone.